here's what's going on. Okay. I drove down here in the McJeep with Ronan earlier to take him to get groomed. However, yesterday I took him to the vet and they told me that they want his poop. So they gave me a scientific vial to put poop in. I got the vial, told him I would bring it by this morning because I'm going by there to take Ronan to get groomed. However, Ronan is smart in the weirdest, dumbest ways. He knows things, and so he knew I needed his poop this morning. And so just to spite me, because he has a sense of humor, he's like, even though I need a poop, and I poop twice a day, once in the morning and one at night, I'm not gonna poop this morning just to mess up your day. So he didn't poop this morning for no reason. There's no reason for it. It had to have been because he knew I, knew I needed some poop. He's like, nah, I, I poop's mine. So I went by this morning without his poop, right past the place that he dropped the poop off at, and now I gotta go back again as an expedited special fast delivery on my MIG motorcycle, carrying a vial of tonight's poop to drop off at the vet. And that is my purpose in life today, mother of God. I don't know if I said this last week. I feel like I may have, but I don't know that I did. I discovered this motorcycle is, as a fact, too loud. Now, I don't regret it being as loud as it is, but I say it's too loud because I realized after several days of driving it, my eardrums really hurt. They were aching so good. And so I was like, you know what? I think the motorcycle's too loud. And uh, so I got some earplugs to wear when I ride this bike. And now my ears don't hurt anymore. So fun fact, this bike is actually so loud, I had to wear earbuds. Here's another fun fact, I'm retarded. And I don't know where I am. I thought I knew how to get to the vet, but I guess I don't because this doesn't look right. Gosh darn it! Wow, this is almost as embarrassing as a fridge full of condiments and no food. I'm gonna have to try to get stopped so I can get to my phone so I can put in the vet as a destination, which my phone isn't gonna have on there because I'm not, I've never navigated before. Crap, I have to pull over. Ah, this is the worst day of my life. Well, there, there was one good little beacon this morning, I was like, well, Ronan's gonna make me late because I'm standing outside 15 minutes waiting for him to poop. What are you looking at? All right, your looks are your looks are justified. Anyway, I stood around so long waiting for the poop that I couldn't get out as soon as I wanted to. And I was like, I never wake up early, but this morning I have to wake up early to get him to the vet or the groomer. So now I have a chance to have Mick Filet for breakfast. I haven't had that in forever. That sounds delicious. I think I had to go this way. I know it's the wrong way, but uh, you what, mate? That looks kind of intentional. It's on the phone. He's got a phone. He's fine. Anyway, I realized I got out early enough to go to McFilet, but I only barely made it. I made it within 10 minutes, but I got my mixed sandwich and it made me happy. So, you know, that was that that happened today. I got to take the very next exit just so I can park and look at the stupid map. <sighs> this is so stupid. I'm going to park right here. Why not? I thought I would have learned the area by now, but apparently not. I did this, I think, earlier today where I took off like, oh, I know where I'm going. And then suddenly the road turned into something I didn't recognize. I'm like, how did this happen? Where am I? What's going on? Here we go again. Today, actually, I put together the Moto Monday Season 6 highlight video. And watching that, man, I really missed my Ninja. I was like, I can't wait to go on the Ninja again, but lucky me because this is, well, with the exception of delivering it, the last time I'm gonna ride this bike. Uh, what is it today? Wednesday, Friday morning. I'm taking this bike to the shop and dropping it off for its service, break-in service period thing, at which point I won't see it for two or three weeks or so because uh, while it's there, the headlight is getting taken off and shipped out to get painted. So that's going to take a while. But during that time, of course, I have my Ninja, so it's okay. I've been riding this thing for, well, it's actually been a little while now, maybe like three weeks, but it's been a blast. But I watched the Moto Muddy Season 6. I had to, I had to watch it all to... Uh, pick out the highlights and man that bike is so much fun. I can't wait to ride it again I think I watched that just in time to get ready to switch bikes. I've passed the 640 mile mark That was the uh, break-in period. I think I'm at what was it almost 700 check Boop. 701 I was wrong <laughs> if it was 699 I would have been like yeah almost 700. Nope. You just lost a loser. This car thinks he's fast I'll let him know Up. Hold on, is this? Ah, oh, this is where I took the wrong turn. I went this way, but I was supposed to take a turn. Wow. Yeah, I'm dumb. Well, because of that missed turn, you got to watch all this now. Ooh. Your extra 
special, almost completely fast because I missed my exit. Delivery is here. Rejoice! I have poop. Poop. What else is there to say? Uh, it's a Super Duke 1290. Ooh. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it's cool. It's a big number. There's four numbers in that bike name. <laughs> All right, see ya. Let's get the hell out of here. So fun story. Uh, I was coming to the vet one day and there was a line that went from here, clear past the entrance to the grocery store, here at the liquor store. And I was like, what's going on? And there was a cop sitting right there where I just came from. And, uh, I was wondering what's going on. The people at the vet were asking the cop what's going on. They came out just asking to go. And he was saying, uh, there was some, um, what was it? What's that fancy show? Uh, Lord of the Thrones? Game of Thrones. Yeah, that one. It was Game of Thrones and everyone was lining up to get special edition Game of Thrones beer. And it was like not expensive, but you could be like, what's the word? People were buying it with the intention of selling it again for a lot of money. I guess you're not going to wait, but that's cool. Whatever. Let's get one more good pull out of here. Second to last chance I'm going to have to rev this thing beneath the half RPM range. It pulls so good. I can't wait to see what this bike is really capable of. But anyway, that's going to be all. <laughs> Thanks for watching me complain and go get poop. I'll see y'all later. Bye.